In this video, I will show you how to find the direction of a moment in three dimensions. Let's look at our first x, y, and z axis. So let's say we have x axis, y axis, and z axis. Okay. So we can have some forces above the axis to the right, to the left, but it's not only where is the force compared to the axis, it's the rotation that create the forces so it depends on the direction of the force and where is the force so for example from the axis x is the force is down and to the left above and to um, above and to the left down below and to the right or to the right and going up all those forces will create a moment about the axis x that is positive and don't forget, you need to step on the arrow of the axis. So your eyes will be there. Okay. That's an eye. <laughs> Doesn't look like an eye too much. Um, like this. Here we go. You look there. And um, you look toward the center, toward your origin, and you look at the direction of the force. So all these blue forces will make a positive uh, moment about X. Moment about X is positive. Now all the forces in red above the axis and to the right, to the right of the axis and going down, below of the axis and to the left, and left to the axis and going up, all those forces will create. If you look at the axis, so your axis is not moving, your forces are rotating around and they're rotating in the negative directions. So the moment about x axis will be negative for all the red forces. And again, you always look from the arrow of the axis from the end of the axis toward the center. Let's look at the axis Y. Um, and there's different options. You can try to make it 2D. Or we, I will try to keep it uh, three dimensions. So we will have a force above the axis Y and to the left, so along the axis X. Before the axis Y and going down, below the axis Y and going right, and oh, let me do this one like this, because it's behind, okay? So all those three forces, if you look from there, okay, you look from there. I don't know, I need to check how we do an eye. Okay, maybe like this. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, so that's your eye, you are looking toward the center from the arrow of the y-axis to the center. And you can see that these four forces are creating a positive moment about y. So in red, the moment about y will be positive. OK. I will look at now opposite forces, meaning above y and to the right, to the right of y and going down, below the axis y and going to the left, or to the left of the axis y and going up, all those forces create rotation in the negative direction. So let me draw this one before, under, like this. The moment about y will be negative. Okay? And let's look at the axis z. Let me do it a little bit longer. I have a little bit more space. So let's do. This one, so this for the axis Z. You need to look from above, from there, okay? We look from there. So it's a little bit more difficult to see, uh, but if we will go in that direction, above the axis, that will be positive. So let's draw the forces. This one, this one, this one on the back, and this one, will create a positive moment, okay? You have to look above it, so I can, if that's the axis Z, okay? And we have the axis X and the axis Y, that will be like this, oops. Positive. So moment about Z is positive for the forces in orange and which color I didn't take. 
Okay. Let's try the yellow. So before, be, before the axis Z and to the left, that direction behind the axis Z and this one, all those forces will create a negative moment. If we look from above, that will be this moment negative there. So moment about Z is negative. We just redrew this one so they don't go inside each other. There we go. I think this uh, top view, uh, this 2D view helps a lot. So remember, always look from the arrow from the end of your axis toward your center and look at the directions of the forces and also where the forces are from the axis. I hope that helps. Um, let me know if you need more. Bye-bye.